Hi, my name is Asha Gomez. Welcome to my kitchen. I have decided to put together a short series of videos of me cooking in the kitchen, making dishes from my book, My Two Souths. So I hope you enjoy this series that we have put together for you. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a simple dal. And the dal that we're gonna use is an orange dal called masoor dal. It's a great soup for the afternoon or for the evening. It's really simple to make and it's really delicious. And I'm also going to teach you how to temper some oil and add it to the dal so that it enhances the flavor of the dal. For this dal, we're going to need a cup of masoor dal. It's an orange dal that I've seen it at uh, Whole Foods, I've seen it at the farmer's markets here. The Indian stores definitely carry it. Um, very distinct, um, beautiful orange color. We're gonna need some turmeric, uh, cumin, onions, chili, tomatoes, and then for our tempering, when we temper the oil, we're going to need a little bit of clarified butter, some mustard seeds, some garlic that's sliced thinly, and of course, we'll need kosher salt to season with. And we're gonna need water to cook our lentils with. I got my flame on. For a cup of lentil, you're gonna use three cups of water. That's about the ratio for this particular lentil. So I'm gonna go ahead I don't need to put any fat in here, so I don't need to put any oil right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my water in there, my lentils in there. I have two tomatoes that I sliced up that are gonna go in there. I have two long green chilies that I'm going to just split down the middle and put it in there because all of this at the end will go in the blender. So a rough chop on this vegetables is fine. My onions are gonna go in there. I'm gonna go ahead and season it with salt. I'm gonna add turmeric because it's gonna give me that beautiful golden color for my lentils. And just mix that all up. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on it. I'm gonna lower my flame to the lowest flame possible. I'm just gonna let it cook. I'll come back in 15, 20 minutes and we'll finish this dish. So at this point, our lentils, our dal is cooking down. And while that's happening, I'm gonna temper some oil. What we call in India is, we call it tarka. Essentially, tempering oil is infusing an oil or any type of fat with a different flavor. So it could be spices. Um, in this case, I'm doing garlic. I'm gonna do a sprig of curry leaves and some mustard seeds because I wanna finish my lentil dish with this tempered oil. So it's not just dal that you can use this tempered oil for. You can make a salad and make a dressing and finish it off with some kind of tempered oil as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my flame on. I've decided to use ghee for this. Have about a good two tablespoons of ghee. Because remember, I didn't actually use any fat when we started cooking the lentils. It's just cooking in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mustard seeds in there. And if you haven't worked with mustard seeds, when mustard seeds heat in oil, they're gonna start popping. They're not gonna hurt you, but you know, step back a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead, have about four or five cloves of garlic that are sliced up that are gonna go in there as well. I want the garlic almost burnt because I want that burnt garlic flavor in this lentil. Have a sprig of um, curry leaves. This is optional, you don't have to use it. The thing with curry leaves is when it hits heat, it's flatter, so move back. So I can already see, you know, the mustard, you can hear it, the mustard seeds are starting to pop, you can see, boom, 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 and the garlic is starting to get toasty. 
So probably another minute or so and the garlic's gonna be beautifully golden brown. And we'll set this aside so that when the dal is ready, we can finish the dal with this tempered oil. And so at this point, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. I'm just gonna lift my lid and oh, the lentils are perfectly cooked. They still have some liquid in it, which is great. I want it because I'm gonna put it in the blender and grind it all up. And take all that and put it in here. It just becomes so much creamier when you blend it in the blender. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend those lentils up. I want it to be a nice puree. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it back in my pot. You don't have to, I mean, you can turn the flame back on if you want, but you don't really have to. It's beautiful. This is the consistency you want. You see that? You're gonna go ahead and take that tempered oil. So I like to, instead of putting it in uh, the pot itself, I like to go ahead and at this point transfer my lentils to a serving bowl. And then you can eat this with some steamed rice, some sauteed spinach, uh, some cabbage, or a nice piece of grilled chicken on the side. The options are kind of limitless. Or just drink it as a bowl of soup. And at this point, you're gonna go ahead and take that tempered oil, and you're gonna put it right over your dog. And that's gonna add some additional flavor. Simple doll, I hope you enjoy making this in your kitchen.